Hello, my name is Jose Castro, and I interviewed my friend Haley Bauer, which she is currently a worker at Olive Garden. She is a white female with blonde hair and blue eyes that will play a role in um, the interview later, just to clarify. Um, so with the questions that I've asked her, I asked her um, what kind of position does she currently hold? I said, she said a bartender. I asked her, do you think there are more people from a certain race or ethnicity at your job? She said, it's pretty split, even equals blacks and whites and other ethnicities and races. Um, so hiring, they'll, they literally just hire anyone due to availability and time, not through any sort of discrimination or racism at all, sexism. Um, her daily responsibilities are basically serve tables and make drinks. Most mostly make drinks, bring the drinks to her tables, and um, make drinks for other tables as well. Um, I asked if there was any discrimination part of her job, and she said that there is a lot of discrimination against women, like sexual harassment, and against uh, certain. LGBTQ uh, members in that community. Um, apparently there's a transgender girl that gets bullied a lot there. Um, I asked her um, about another experience that had to do with her. She said that one day um, her coworker got really drunk, but she, he still went to work and was sexually harassing her at the job. Um, and when she told management they did nothing and there has been similar cases in the past with sexual harassment and the, they still keep having them and the manager doesn't do anything. Um, the boss is how I asked her how the boss is handling discrimination. She says, the boss just says write a report, no other help than that really, um, not much help. She feels very uncomfortable even going to the district manager because she feels that nothing is going to happen or be done because she can't trust the higher um, people in her job. Um, I asked her if there was any questions she felt like were uncomfortable while she was getting interviewed in her job. She said no. Like I said before, it was more of focused on availability and experience and asked her what has she done to prevent um, discrimination in her workplace. She said she is a open individual to having conversations with anyone, no matter her gender or race and making everyone feel accepted. Uh, I asked her what are feelings towards the uh, discrimination. And she said that she thinks that no one should encounter this sort of thing in her workplace and that it doesn't feel comfortable. She feels that she has, um, that due to that sexual harassment that she couldn't go to work and make money and support herself. So that affected her a lot in that sense, financially as well. And I asked her about like the last time she experienced, uh, anything like she's seen or have experienced discrimination she said about that drunk coworker, and she said that that team environment is very unsupportive and very awful that she said it lacks leadership um i asked her also if there are any responsibilities that is being dropped to her that isn't primarily her job and she says liquor count manager is supposed to do that but she doesn't feel comfortable doing it she feels that it is more she has more of a workload compared to her other workers because she has more people to deal with and much more responsibilities and much more people there. Um, like I said, she's only responsible for serving drinks and um, making them, but she's basically doing service jobs too, which relatively isn't unfair um, because she's only one bartender all the time. And other days, there's um, only two days a week, there's two bartenders. And she feels that her her position is underappreciated and that um, this shouldn't happen because she doesn't want to come to work and have to experience all that.